Carrots are not the easiest veggie to grow hydroponically, especially indoors, especially with limited space, because they require lots of vertical room, both below the soil and above. If you've seen whole carrots in the grocery store with the green still attached, you know what I'm talking about. So they're a real challenge to grow indoors. But you know what? Fuck it. We're going to try and make it work anyway. I'll show you how next on Hydrosolo. Hydrosolo is a channel dedicated to helping you grow your own food in whatever space you have. Where in the goddamn hell am I going to grow these stupid carrots? I could try on one of these shelves, but I'm worried about the headroom with the grow lights when they get big. I have these brand new five gallon grow bags. They're about 11 inches tall. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Let's do some math. So my grow bags are 11 inches tall. The greens of the carrots I'm gonna approximate to be at least 12 inches when mature. Let's add some room for error and call it 18 inches. And I need at least six inches of headroom for the grow lights. So that's 11 inches plus 18 inches, which is 29 inches plus six is 35 inches of total vertical space. Let's check the shelves. My shelves are 28 inches from shelf to grow light. So, hmm. Well, I give up. Just kidding. Since I'm growing them in these grow bags, I can move them around later. So I'm just going to start them in the grow tent where I still have lots of vertical space. Let's hydrate some cocoa core. About three of these bricks should be plenty to fill five gallons. Definitely a grower, not a shower. You know what I'm saying? Scoop it in the bag about a quarter of the way up. I'm going to use this Oya right in the center as a reservoir. This is called sub-irrigation, and it's my go-to hydroponic method because it's simple, easy, and very effective. The Oya, spelled O-L-L-A, -L -L -A, is porous, meaning water can escape it slowly over time, which provides an excellent and super easy method of watering and feeding the roots. Also, it doesn't require stupid electricity or other dependencies. Simple always trumps complex. The less points of failure, the better. Now fill in the core around the Oya, and there we have it. Now let's figure out how many carrots to plant. Since carrots are vertical growers, we can space them closer together. That means for this particular grow bag configuration, we can plant about nine to 11. I like prime numbers, so I'll go for 11. But don't be afraid to push the limit, you little goddamn risk-taking son of a bitch you. Go for 13 if you want to get nuts. Normally, I'd use these grow cube things to germinate the seeds because it's easier to control the environment while they're germinating, like I did with the kale seedlings, remember? But carrots will grow, um, how do I say this, weird if we start them in the cubes. I think, I, I assume, I, I've never tried. Maybe one day, but that's not something I want to fuck around with this time. So we need to start them straight in the medium. Just drop three to five seeds per location, then smush them about two inches below the surface with your finger, like this, then cover, like so, and boom! Carrots set up for success, bitch! Now like all seeds, do not let the medium dry out. Carrots take their sweet time germinating, so give them a couple of weeks before panicking. Refill the Oya about every week and you should be good. And that's how you grow carrots indoors. We'll revisit this in a couple of weeks to talk about thinning the herd, nutrients, and the ideal light spectrum because it's a little different for carrots. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Go to hydrosolo.com to get your greedy little hands on 100% free, no bullshit, this isn't a gimmick copy of the hydroponic playbook. It will help you get up and running quickly, growing your own food, even if you have no clue where to start. Hamburger with carrots. You know, carrots grow in different colors. Traditionally, you think of a carrot as being orange, and that's not necessarily true. And you've probably seen them in the grocery store. There's rainbow varieties. There's purple carrots, there's yellow carrots, there's red carrots, there's uh, green carrots. I don't know if that last one is true. I don't know if they're green carrots or not. But fun fact about carrots, you know, carrots have the green stuff that comes out, that's the top part of the plant. Uh, we typically eat the root part underneath the soil. But those greens right there, you can actually make a nice uh, carrot top pesto out of it. And uh, hey, that would make a good carrot top pesto. Coming to a 
grocery store near you. Get it and put it on your stuff so you can eat it up. Just like Carrot Top, the entertainer with carrots all over him. <laughs>